Well, why would he take a shot at me? The chap's actions seem understandable to me somehow. Oh, you do enjoy a good joke, don't you? So that's all the Rakshas are after, huh? Eating people. After Ravenna, their leader, was killed, the Rakshasa lived on leaderless. They drifted into a timeless limbo, where, according to legend, they sent emissaries into the living world to see if the time is ripe. To see if the time is ripe for their reappearance on the face of the earth. Yeah, when is that? When the world has slipped to the edge of the abyss. Uh -huh. Mistrust, decadence, mm -hmm. moral decline. I see, in other words, they might be getting their marching orders right now. Now, you really must excuse me. Yes, yes. Well, I'll just hang around here. Say, my boss might like this as a paperweight. How much are you getting for it? 3000 $750. Oh. <laughs> well, come to think of it, he's got a sentimental attachment to one he's got. Now it's a little round ball, a uh, little cottage inside. You shake it up and snow falls on it, you know. Uh, did, 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 did you ever see Citizen Kane? Yes! <laughs> yes. Take a look at that hanging over there. You may find it of use. Thank you. Remember her well. Tony? Yeah. Uh, oh, this is it, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. The story that starts out with the rodent problems of the lower income old folks and degenerates into this dribble about some evil spirit that comes from New Delhi and makes sandwiches out of people. Say, Hindu spirit's got nothing to do with New Delhi. Also appears to his victims as Carl Kolchak, but actually looks like Bongo the Chimp with fans. See, he only appeared to Harry Starman as me, Tony. Why don't you read the thing thoroughly? Now, the, the rakshasa have magical powers. They seduce the victim to death by taking on the image of someone the victim trusts. And poor Harry Starman, he trusted you. Well, obviously, he never had to depend on you to come up with a cogent story, something that'll turn a profit. Tony, you gotta put this story on the wire now. If only one paper picks it up and prints it, some butchery may be prevented. Put this on the wire? Put myself up for ridicule? Put myself on unemployment? Now, think about it a moment, Tony. Just think about it. Consider the logic. Before Harry died, he called my name. He thought he saw me. Now, that young cop with his name, York. York. The scuttlebutt is... Scuttlebutt? The, the, the rumor is that he believes he saw Sergeant Ernest DeVito, a guy who's been a father figure to him all of his life, and DeVito was on sick leave because of a coronary. Oh, he just wigged out because he saw his partner get hurt. Well, what did happen to his partner? Eaten by rats while York stood by and watched him. Come on. Listen, it's the way the Rakshasa works. He plucks images from the brains of those he wants to slaughter. Someone he knows that they can trust. If, even if the paper's printed as a joke, it might make sense to some of those old people. Worry them into being careful. Sure it would make sense to them. They're senile. Just a minute. You may be my employer, but you're walking on eggs when you talk that way, Buster. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but this is a little too much. Come on, Tony, do it. Will you do it? Put it on the wire, will you? As far as I'm concerned, it's bedtime for Bonzo. Ta Vincenzo, wh wh where, are you, where are you going? That's none of your concern. Vincenzo, come back here! to get out of him is that he's going to the doctor for some shots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I'd like to give him a shot in the head. That's what I'd like to do. 